What's up you guys, it's your boy Hayden Fawn. As you can see in the thumbnail as well as the title, I've got finally the exact same shoes that Michael Jackson wore, which, which is the Florsheim Comos. Now, it's no secret that I've been fortunate to have a budget for me to buy a lot of Michael Jackson shoes. As you can see that I've bought the Penny Loafers. As you can see that I've bought not one, not two, but now three Florsham pair of loafers. Each being different, each being unique to their own respective shoes. However, these ones are probably the best ones that I've worn and experienced so far in 2023. Now you're probably wondering, Hayden, where did you buy these Florsham loafers? Can I have a pair? And it's a bit tricky for me to say because I actually don't live in the US. I actually had to go through eBay. This was secondhand. However, it was like as new and that I had to pay around 100 and I think it was 110, 120 Australian dollars all up. It's pretty cheap for what it is, especially for secondhand on eBay. I know that Coma and the Coma Imperials, they're US exclusives in terms of the flourishing market. So if you're overseas actually buying these brand new, they're around like 200, $300, including with import tax. So as you can see, I got them for half price, give or take because they were second hand, but um, yeah, like this was the eBay listing and that when I saw it and it was in my size, I knew I had to get it as soon as possible. Now, a bit of context, Michael Jackson wore these loafers during the Bad as well as History Tour. I think he started wearing them during This Is It as well. However, these were his main shoes of choice when it comes to dancing. And even if you look up Michael Jackson worn shoes or Michael Jackson shoes auction, as you can see that these were flourishums as well as, I know that Michael Jackson had worn a lot of different shoes in his lifetime. As you can see in my other video, it's a bit dated at the moment, but as you can see, he wore Florsham, Sabagos, as well as GH Bass Weegens. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Florsham Comos and just basically the details about the Florsham Comos as well as the Como Imperials in Michael Jackson's life, as well as how you can score one as well. So overall, this is what the shoe looks like. So what it looks like at the front, the side, the back, the other side, and at the top, because these are the floors from Como's, they have the penny loafer, so to speak, strap. It's not really technically a penny loafer because it doesn't have the characteristics. However, it's a moccasin toe strap on the top, and that's basically the defining characteristics of the floors from Como. The difference between the floors from Como and the Como Imperial is that the Como Imperial has a metal bit decoration on the top, as you can see here, as well as, let's see if I got my other loafer right now. As you can see that this is more or less the same as the Como Imperial, it's just a bit different, but more or less on the top, it's the same strap styling, but the only difference is that it has the metal bit on top. And the soles of the shoes is 100% leather, which leather is the most preferred in terms of dance shoes as well. It's much more smoother than rubber soles. I know that I've been dancing with rubber soles basically all my life so far, but leather soles really make a difference, especially on wooden floors. And it has a rubber heel, but MJ often replaced the heel with a leather heel. And I know that some guy recently commented on my video saying, wear gloves. Look, this is triggering you right now. Nah, I'm only kidding. Yeah, like these are clean shoes. So I only use them for dance specifically. Like I haven't busted these out yet on the dance floor or on stage. So these are 100% clean. I wash my hands as well. So, you know, thank you for your concern though. So about these shoes, this is what Florisham has to say on their website. It says, set at the foot of the Italian Alps, the Como region of Italy is known for its pristine beauty. We created the Florisham Como Mokto strap loafer to match. With its genuine hand-sewn construction, unique strap and rich burnishing, this shoe is taking the name Como to new heights. So overall, this shoe is a really cool dress shoe, so to speak. It's a loafer, as you can see. Like I mentioned before, it has moccasin toe construction on the top and in the Inside, so to speak, it says that it's a leather sole, leather upper, and leather lining. And I've noticed with a lot of floors from loafers, it has this gore attached, so it gives you like a custom fit every time when you fit it in. It's a piece of elastic at the end of the day. The inside is really comfy, similar to the video that I've done on, on the floors from rivers, I think, a couple years ago. It's the same lining. It's very comfy. I think it's using that comfort tech technology but it's really comfy when I slip it on. And the hallmarks of a really nice dress shoe, and I'm talking about in terms of quality as well, 
the soles are actually stitched. And as you can see, the leather sole was actually stitched onto the upper. That's the sign of a really good quality shoe. That means, let's just say, if the sole gets completely destroyed, you can get it resold at a shoe repair shop. As you can see, as it runs on the edge, you can see that it's stitched. And then also in the inside, you can see that it's stitched, so it connects together. But overall, that's how you know that it's a good quality constructed sole for a dress shoe, just point blank period. However, my reviews on this shoe is that this is actually a really unique shoe to dance in. I've only danced in a couple of times just for rehearsal. However, it's different. It's really different. When I put it on, it feels like I'm actually wearing bare feet, which is good, but it totally changes the way how I dance in terms of, you know, moonwalking, gliding, as well as kicks. And I've also noticed that the toe is actually not reinforced as my other loafers, which is kind of a bit of a concern, especially when I spin and do a toe stand. It doesn't give me that support. Usually that toe stand, usually when I do a toe stand, I can really feel the toe being supported. But when I do toe stand, I actually feel my toes actually touching the ground, which is a bit of concern, especially if I like really slam the toe stand. Like it's gonna hurt probably. But when I put on these shoes, it feels like a whole different experience that I haven't experienced before in a sense where I'm so used to rubber soles, and I'm so used to shoes that are very tight and form-fitting, especially when I toe stand and glide, but now it just feels like, it feels different. It's like when you, I kind of have to like relearn some moves in order to make it feel comfortable when I'm wearing these Comos. However, overall, it's such a great shoe, especially for the price that I paid for it secondhand and it was still brand new, like I can't complain. But um, yeah, it's a pretty good pair of shoes. I think now overall that I've got four pairs of Michael Jackson dancing shoes, but I've also wear these shoes also for work as well as, you know, I wear them in public as well because they're, they're great shoes at the end of the day. But I think that these Comos will be my dedicated dance shoe. So dedicated dance shoe, that's for sure. These vintage Florishams, probably another dedicated dance shoe as well. Maybe I wear them to work or for other events, who knows? Because they both have leather soles and I really want to make these leather soles last until like the end of time. I've got these Zara Penny loafers, which is, I've had these since high school. I've had the sole resold. Even then the sole's been worn out, the heel's been worn out. This is like the original Penny loafer that I've worn for performances. Like I remember buying this with my own money thinking, wow, I've, I've done it. I've hit the big time buying Penny loafers. But um, I, I use these mainly just for casual wear now. I don't use them for dancing or sometimes I just use them for rehearsing. But, you know, this is, this is not a dance shoe anymore. This is just a beta shoe. And I recently bought this shoe from H&M, uh, Penny Loafer once again. But I really like the sole. It's like kind of like a rubber mixed with a leather sole. So it's really smooth. The heel is very chunky as well, which is good. The reason why I prefer this Penny Loafer over the one that I previously showed you is because the toe is actually reinforced. So when I do a toe stand, it actually doesn't hurt. Four Penny Loafers for the sake of the same purpose, which is a dance shoe. And as you can see, the soles, they're all worn out. And I guess having good dancing shoes, especially loafers, I guess having good quality dance shoes is an investment, especially if you're doing a lot of moonwalks, spinning, gliding on all types of floors, such as concrete, wood, carpet, any floor surfaces. I reckon you can't just have the one dance shoe. You gotta experiment and just find one that is tailored for you. I used to think that rubber was pretty good because I was just used to dancing with rubber soles. At first, you know, the traction was, you had to really, really break into that rubber sole before you're able to dance quite smoothly in it. But ever since I had leather sole shoes, I can't turn back. It sounds like a bit of a snort, but I, I can't go back to rubber sole shoes. But yeah, that's my thoughts and review on the Forest Room Comos. Hope you enjoy, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Catch around.